This is All India Radio. We now bring you a special program on COVID-19. Good morning. I'm Sunil Verma and with me is Subhadra Ramachandran. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address Gram Panchayats today to mark National Panchayati Raj Day. Government says focus is on test, cure and to ensure low mortality due to COVID-19. No new case of COVID-19 reported in the last 14 days in 78 districts. The recovery rate of patients improves to 19.89%. Minister for MSME Nitin Gatkari asks industries to arrange shelter and food for labourers at work site and focus on preventive measures and business activities simultaneously. India reaffirms its commitment towards greater sharing of knowledge, expertise and best practices in joint fight against coronavirus. In Uttar Pradesh, community radios are playing an important role in fight against COVID-19 and Tripura becomes third corona-free state in the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address village panchayats across the country today to mark the National Panchayati Raj Day. Mr. Modi will also interact with various participants through video conferencing in view of lockdown. A report. The Prime Minister will launch a unified e-Gram Swaraj portal and mobile application on the occasion. The unified portal is a new initiative of Panchayati Raj Ministry which will provide the Gram Panchayats with a single interface to prepare and implement their development plans. Mr. Modi will also launch the Swamit scheme which provides for an integrated property validation solution for rural India. Every year on this occasion, Panchayati Raj Ministry has been awarding the best performing Panchayats, states and union territories across the country for their good works in improving delivery of services and public goods. This year, three such awards have been finalized. Divakar, AIR News, Delhi. Through the Constitution 73rd Amendment Act 1992, the Panchayati Raj had come into force on 24th of April 1993, marking a defining moment in the history of decentralization of power to the grassroots in the country. The Health Minister, Dr. Harshwardhan, has said that India's response has been proactive, preemptive and graded in handling the situation arising out of COVID-19 outbreak. Dr. Vardhan stated this yesterday while participating in a virtual interactive session with health ministers of member countries a World Health Organization, WHO, on the measures being taken for containment of COVID-19. Exhorting the WHO officials, the health minister said, we are meeting in troubled times and we have to work together by sharing our best practices to eradicate COVID-19. Dr. Vardhan said, during the last three months, the government has scaled up the number of government labs to 230, aided by another 87 private labs with more than 16,000 collection centers. He said, so far, more than 5 lakh people have been tested for COVID-19. He said the government is going to increase the numbers of its labs to 300 and ramp up its present daily testing capacity of 55,000 to 1 lakh per day by 31st of next month. He said, India has in all 2,033 dedicated facilities in the country with more than 1 lakh 9,000 isolation beds, more than 24,000 ICU beds and more than 12,000 ventilators. Further, while referring to the solutions meant to satiate curiosity of people to know about the risk hovering around, Dr. Harshwardhan highlighted the effectiveness of Aragya Setu mobile application, which has been downloaded by more than 7.2 crore people. The government has said that it has been able to consistently ramp up country's COVID-19 testing in the last one month, and over 5 lakh tests have been done so far. It said during the last month, the number of dedicated hospitals for treating coronavirus patients has been increased 3.5 times and the number of isolation beds rose by 3.6 times. This was stated by the chairman of the Empowered Group, which is coordinating availability of hospitals, isolation and quarantine facilities, disease surveillance and testing, while briefing reporters in New Delhi last evening. He said the number of dedicated COVID hospitals and healthcare centers are increasing continuously, and over 3,773 such dedicated COVID facilities are identified in the country so far. Over 1.94 lakh isolation beds are in the country. We have been able to consistently ramp up our testing. We have been able to utilize this time gainfully for preparing ourselves for the future. If the virus spreads further, whatever is required to be done, we will need to do. So there has been a lot of action during these 30 days. 
The chairman said, the entire hospital preparation is now focused on providing oxygen to those who need it. He said, despite a 24-fold increase in testing, percentage of positive cases is not rising. He said the country's testing strategy has been focused, targeted and continues to expand. The chairman added that the government has been able to cut coronavirus transmission, minimize its spread and increase the doubling time of COVID-19 cases in the country during the 30-day period of the nationwide lockdown. He said the growth of COVID-19 has been more or less linear, not exponential, in the last one month. Meanwhile, the recovery rate of COVID-19 patients in the country has improved to 19.89 percent. A total of 1,229 fresh COVID cases have been reported in the country in the last 24 hours, taking the total number to 21,700. As many as 4,325 patients have recovered and discharged from the hospitals, while 686 patients have died. Health Ministry spokesman said, चार जिले थे जहां पर कोई केस नहीं आए थे अब वह संख्या बढ़कर 12 हो चुकी है आठ नए जिले ऐड हुए हैं इसके साथ ही देश में 78 ऐसे डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स हैं जहां पर पिछले 14 दिनों से कोई केस नहीं आया है हमें हर संभव मिलकर यही कोशिश करनी है कि ऐसे जिलों की संख्या निरंतर बढ़ती रहे the Home Ministry spokesperson informed about the exemptions announced by the government during lockdown. She said the centre has clarified to state that in-house caregivers of senior citizens, prepaid mobile recharge utilities and food processing units in urban areas are exempted from lockdown restrictions. She said road construction, work at bricklins and cement factories are a few activities gathering pace in the country. She also said the states are facilitating commercial activity in areas which are not hot spots as per the guidelines. Lockdown ke enforcement desh mein kuch ghatnao ko chhod adhikansh sthano par santosh janak chal raha hai. Arthik gatividhyo mein khas kar gramin shetro mein pragati ho rahi hai. 22 April tak manarega ke tehet deer karoor se adhik shram divas arjit huye hai. Jo shetra hotspot ya containment zone mein nahi hai, vaha griha mantrale ke nirdesha anusar raja sarkare audiokik ikaiyo ko Director General Indian Council of Medical Research informed that 325 labs are working in the country to test COVID-19. He said the positivity rate of COVID-19 has been 4.5% throughout and one can say that we have been able to flatten the curve. He also said Centre has been working with the states to ensure required reagents are supplied to testing labs in a timely and calibrated fashion. हम लोग का काफी स्टेबल चल रहा है और जैसे कि बताया है कि 4.5 परसेंट पॉजिटिविटी आ रही है वही बिल्कुल स्ट्रेटी टाइप की लाइन चल रही है तो आप इसको ये भी कह सकते हैं कि हम लोग कर्व को फ्लैटन कर पाए हैं द मिनिस्टर फॉर माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस नितिन गडकरी यस्टरडे इंटरक्टेड वाई वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग विद रेप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ भारत चेंबर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंटरप्राइजेस फ्रॉम वेरियस सेक्टर्स मीडिया एंड अदर स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑन पोस्ट कोविड नाइन्टीन challenges and new opportunities in India. Mr. Gutkari called upon the industries to take necessary measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19. He emphasized on usage of PPEs and advised to maintain social distancing while resuming the offices and business operations. Mr. Gutkari said, industries should also arrange shelter and food for the laborers at the work sites and focus on preventive measures and business activities simultaneously. He further mentioned that the highways and ports have started functioning and over a period of time, the operations will be on track. Regarding revival of MSME sector, the minister said that special focus towards export enhancement is the need of the hour and necessary practices shall be adopted to reduce power cost logistics cost and production cost to become competitive in the global market. The Minister for Agriculture, Narendra Singh Tomar, took a review meeting of the Department of Agricultural Research and Education, DARE, and Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAR, in New Delhi yesterday. While appreciating the works of ICAR, the Minister stressed the need to strengthen the research of extension system to reach out to farmers. Recognizing that seed is the prime input, Mr. Tomer suggested for preparing a roadmap for seed availability. The ministry also said, ICAR is proactively working for the prevention of stress to farmers due to COVID-19. It said, advisory in 15 regional languages were communicated to over 5.48 crore farmers. 
it added that about 42.7 lakh farmers were sensitized for use of Arugya Setu mobile application to fight COVID-19 pandemic and 4.33 lakh farmers have downloaded the application. It further said, ICAR's three institutes, NIHSAD Bhopal, IVRI Izzatnagar and NRC on Equines, Hisar, were notified for COVID-19 testing in humans and zoo animals. Till date, 1,561 samples have been tested by these institutes. The government has said that harvesting of pulse and potato has been completed in almost all the states. It said out of 2,587 principal and main agricultural markets in the country, 1,091 markets were functional at the beginning of the lockdown period till 26th of March, which has increased to 2,069 markets till 21st April. Besides, arrival of staple vegetables in Mondays also witnessed big leap compared to last month. Six-fold increase was seen in arrival of onions in Mondays, while potatoes and tomatoes had doubled the arrivals as compared to 16th of last month. The Agriculture Ministry said it is taking several measures to facilitate the farmers and farming activities at field level during the lockdown period. During rabi season 2020, the procurement of pulses and oil seeds on MSP is currently in progress in 20 states. It said the status of wheat harvesting is also encouraging in the major wheat growing states. A report. About 99% of wheat crop has been harvested in Madhya Pradesh, 90% in Rajasthan, 78% in Uttar Pradesh, 45% in Haryana, 40% in Punjab and around 84% in other states. Besides, harvesting of ravi onion in the field of small farmer units is almost complete and harvesting of larger farmer plots is in progress. The ministry said harvesting of sugarcane has been completed in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Punjab, while harvesting of Sugarcane is almost complete in Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Haryana and Uttarakhand, whereas about 85% sugarcane has been harvested in Uttar Pradesh. Dipendra Kumar for AIR News. The Minister of External Affairs has been playing a key role in ensuring availability of essential medical equipment to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Officials said due to the proactive actions of Indian missions abroad, test kits, personal protection equipment and masks will be procured in the coming weeks. MEA spokesperson Anurag Srivastav said that six SUV-sized high-speed testing machines, which are in high demand, are being sourced from Roche in the U.S. He added India's research and development labs are in touch with their counterparts in Israel and Germany, which are undertaking cutting-edge work. This is All India Radio giving you a special news program on COVID-19. Let's take a look at the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address Gram Panchayats today to mark National Panchayati Raj Day. Government says focus is on test, cure and to ensure low mortality due to COVID-19. No new case of COVID-19 reported in the last 14 days in 78 districts. Recovery rate of patients improves to 19.89%. Minister for MSME Nitin Gadkari asks industries to arrange shelter and food for labourers at work site and focus on preventive measures and business activities simultaneously. India reaffirms its commitment towards greater sharing of knowledge, expertise and best practices in joint fight against coronavirus. In Uttar Pradesh, community radios are playing an important role in fight against COVID-19 and Tripura become the third corona-free state in the country. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. India has reaffirmed its strong commitment towards greater sharing of knowledge, expertise and best practices in the joint fight against COVID-19 for the larger regional good. India yesterday participated in a video conference of health ministers of South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, SARC, hosted by Pakistan to promote greater regional cooperation to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. The Ministry of External Affairs, MEA, said India was represented at the conference by Director General of Health Services, who was assisted by experts from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AIMS, and Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR. All the SARC member nations are reeling under adverse social and economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic. During the video conference, the Indian side briefed other countries about its efforts to ramp up production of medicines and essential materials besides its research on drugs and vaccines to confront the pandemic. At the meeting, India also highlighted the successful use 
and promising future of new and innovative technology based solutions such as the mobile app Arogya Setu to maximize community outreach and intervention. In order to deal with COVID-19 pandemic effectively, the Himachal Pradesh government will adopt three-pronged strategy in the state. For this, the state government has decided to increase testing capacity, identifying three types of institutions for treatment of COVID-19 patients, having different symptoms and adequate safety equipment for patients and doctors. More from our correspondent. Under a strident strategy, the state government will increase the testing capacity for COVID-19 so that the maximum number of people could be investigated, whereas three health institutions will be identified for the treatment of COVID-19 patients having different symptoms. The people with asymptomatic would be kept in COVID care centers, while moderate symptomatic would be kept in COVID health centers. Patients having severe symptoms would be admitted in COVID hospitals. On the other hand, the state government is also ensuring the adequate availability of PPE kits, facial masks and ventilators in all order to deal with any possible situation arising after the lockdown. Meanwhile, the state has reported one fresh case of COVID-19 with which the total active case count reached 17. However, 18 patients have been declared recovered as well. Sanjeev Sundariyal, AIR News, Shimla. In Uttar Pradesh, several community radios are playing an important role in preparing the local public in the fight against COVID-19. A report. The community radios in far-flung areas of Uttar Pradesh are nowadays running different type of shows through which they are making general public well informed about the virus COVID-19. One such radio is Kisan Community Radio based in Basti district. Station manager Atul Shukla told EIR that they are updating their audience regularly with COVID-19 specific news. Kisan Radio Basti 15 hours of prasaran karta hai community radio ke madhyam se. Is subah 7 baje se lekar ke raat 10 baje tak prasaran kiya jata hai. कोरोना महामारी को लेकर के लोगों के बीच नए नए प्रोग्राम प्रसार कर रहे हैं जिसमें सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग को लेकर के आरोग्य सेतु ऐप को डाउनलोड करने से संबंधित बातें बताया जा रहा है इससे बचाव कैसे किया जाता है इनसे हमारे जो लोग हैं ये सुबह से शाम तक निरंतर प्रयास कर रहे हैं अनदर कम्युनिटी रेडियो रेडियो बदायूं ऑल्सो रन्स फोन इन प्रोग्राम्स रिलेटेड टू कोविड-19 अलोंग विद अदर एंटरटेनमेंट प्रोग्राम्स एज पर द डेटा ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग एज मेनी 40 community radio stations are functioning in state and during the period of lockdown they have become a vital source of information related to coronavirus Sushil Chandra Tiwari AIR News Lucknow In Gujarat as many as 79 patients were discharged from hospital during the last 24 hours with fresh 217 cases a total covid-19 cases in the state rose to 2524 Meanwhile, the curfew has been lifted from parts of Ahmedabad, Vadodara and Surat from today morning. A report. Out of the 270 fresh cases, 151 cases were reported from Ahmedabad while 41 cases from Surat. Nine deaths were reported in the state yesterday, taking the total death toll to 112. Principal Secretary of Department of Health, Dr. Jain Tidavi said, in view of rising number of cases, government will continue the strategy of aggressive testing. So far, the state has ensured 10,000 bed capacity for COVID-19 patients. Meanwhile, State DGP Shivanand Jha said, so far 22 persons have been booked under under PASA in connection with six separate incidents of alleged attack on government officials. Aparna Khut, AR News, Ahmedabad. In Bihar, number of positive cases of coronavirus has gone up to 170 with reporting of 27 fresh cases. Of these, eight are of a family of Patna. Altogether, 44 people have so far been recovered from corona and discharged from hospital, while 124 patients are undergoing treatment. Two persons died due to corona infection in the state. AIR correspondent report that the state government has made it mandatory for everyone to wear masks in public places. In Odisha, the state government has imposed a complete shutdown for 60 hours in three districts, Balasur, Bhadrak and Jajpur, which has started from last night to contain the spread of COVID-19. After 28 confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been reported from Balasur, Bhadrak and Jajpur districts in the last five days, the Odisha government has imposed a curfew-like shutdown in these districts. The state government has deputed three senior IS officers to these districts to improve the preparedness. 
According to a notification issued by the state government, the Sarpanch of the Gram Panchayat will launch a massive operation and enlist all such persons who may have come from outside the state. They will also assist the district administration in aggressive contact tracing. Meanwhile, the number of COVID-19 positive cases in Odisha reached 89. It is stressing Rathod, AIA News, Qatar. In Madhya Pradesh, the number of corona-infected people has increased to more than 1,600 after reporting about 100 patients in a day. So far, 203 people have recovered completely, while 83 have died. In the capital Bhopal, the number of patients has increased to 323, while in Nindor, the number of infected people has raised to 945. Corona infection has spread in 8 divisions out of the total 10 divisions of Madhya Pradesh, but not a single patient has been reported till date in Riva and Scheduled divisions. The total population of these two divisions is more than 40 lakh. Divisional Commissioner of Riva and Schedule Ashok Kumar Bhargav told AIR that due to timely investigation and continuous awareness campaigns, our area is still safe. We have all of the lockdowns in all of the cities. Those who came from the Vidish Yatra, we have all of the patients who have been medical treatment. They have been quarantined. The rest of the people who have been treated, they have also been treated and they have also been treated. हमने ये अपील की कि वे अपने घरों में रहें, अनावश्यक रूप से घरों से बाहर ना निकलें। इसी के साथ साथ जो हमारे कोरोना जंग के विरुद्ध लड़ने वाले जो वास्तविक योद्धा थे, समय समय पर फांसला अब जाएगी। A total of 487 containment areas have been identified in the state. This is being helped to control the corona infection in Madhya Pradesh. Sanjeev Sharma, AIR News, Bhopal. Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel has requested the Center to allow payment of wages under Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme, MNREGA, in the form of food grains. A report from our Raipur correspondent. In a letter to the Rural Development Minister Narendra Singh Tomar, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister said that payment of wages under Manrega gets credited to the labor's bank account directly and laborers will have to withdraw money to fulfill their primary needs. During lockdown, it's a difficult task for them. He requested the union minister to give permission to the state government to distribute food grains as wages to the laborers working under Manrega so as to ensure food security for them in the current circumstances. Meanwhile, the Chhattisgarh government has appointed an officer of the rank of Assistant Inspector General of Police as the nodal officer to take immediate action on complaints of attack on health workers. Vikal Pushukla, AIR News, Raipur. The Tamil Nadu government has permitted resuming certain works by the state administration and the private industries by relaxing the lockdown conditions. The exemptions are applicable mainly in rural areas, which are free from any reported case of COVID-19. The state and central government offices dealing with essential services have also been allowed to function with one-third of the staff by wearing masks and maintaining social distancing. Meanwhile, 90 of the COVID-19 patients have been discharged yesterday from hospitals, while 54 new cases have been identified. The total number of infected cases has gone up to 1,683, including 400 in Chennai alone. More from our correspondent. Among the 54 new cases yesterday, 4 are children below 10 years of age and 17 are primary cases. Investigations about the contact history of the primary cases are underway. Meanwhile, the Madras High Court Chief Justice has convened a meeting of all its justices on the 29th of this month. It is to be held through video conferencing. The functioning of the High Court and the lower courts during the month of May is expected to be discussed. Normally, May used to be the summer vacation for the courts. However, the High Court has earlier indicated that due to the days lost during the lockdown, the vacation this year may be given up. Jai Singh, AAR News, Chennai. Kerala increased alert as 10 new positive COVID-19 cases were confirmed in the state yesterday, even from districts classified earlier under Green Zone. Among the newly confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Kerala, few cases were reported from the Green Zone districts of Iduki and Kottayam. Accordingly, these districts are shifted to the Orange Zone, taking away the relaxations declared there earlier being in Green Zone. Presently, four districts of Kandur, Kasarkot, Kodikod and Malapuram continue to remain in the Red Zone and the rest of all ten districts are in Orange Zone. District lockdown measures will be continued in the Red Zone. Hotspots in Orange Zone will be completely sealed. The interstate travel will be strictly banned except with emergency passes. Accordingly, it is decided to conduct random antibody testing in health workers, sanitary workers, home delivery agents, etc. to check the spread. Mayusha Poweya News from Thiruvananthapuram. 
In Tripura, the sample of the COVID second COVID-19 patient in the state have tested negative for three consecutive times. With this, Tripura has also become the second corona-free state in the northeastern region. Earlier, Manipur was declared corona-free. Chief Minister Biplap Kumar Deb, mentioning the report in a tweet, thanked doctors, healthcare staff, all frontline warriors and public for making Tripura a corona-free state. Tripura reported two COVID-19 positive cases. The first positive patient was discharged from hospital seven days ago after recovering and testing negative. A total of 128 new confirmed cases of novel coronavirus have been reported in Delhi during the last 24 hours, taking the total number of cases to 2,376. The Delhi government has confirmed that 808 patients have been cured and discharged so far and 50 deaths have been reported in the national capital. A total of 30,560 tests have been conducted so far. The Inter-Ministerial Central Team, IMCT, has refuted certain media reports claiming that it has projected coronavirus cases in Mumbai to touch 42,604 by 30th April and 6.5 lakh by mid-May. In a statement issued from Mumbai yesterday, the IMCT clarified that no such projection has been made. Shahi Imam of Delhi's Jama Masjid, Sayyid Ahmed Bukhari, has said that the entire humanity is faced with the challenge of coronavirus and people must cooperate with the government in the fight against the virus. He appeals to the Muslims to strictly follow the directions in this regard and offer prayers only at home during the month of Ramzan as they have been doing during the lockdown so far. The Shahi Imam said, gathering of people can be fatal for their families and society. سے کرونا وائرس کے حوالے سے جو ہدایت مسلسل آ رہی ہیں اگر ہم اس پر پوری طرح عمل کریں تو اس وائرس کو جلد ختم کرنے میں ہم کامیاب ہو سکتے ہیں رمضان کا مبارک مہینہ شروع ہونے والا ہے اور رمضان مبارک کے تعلق سے علماء کی شرائع رائے ملک کے سامنے آ چکی ہے کہ پنج وقتہ نمازیں اور تراوی گھروں میں ہی پڑھنی ہے اور سوشل ڈسٹینسنگ بنائے رکھنا نہایت ضروری ہے ایک دوسرے سے دوری اور دیگر ہدایت پر عمل کر کے ہم اپنے آپ کو اپنے خاندان اور سماج کو اس مولک بیماری سے بچا سکتے ہیں In our series Experts Speak on All India Radio, we bring you views of leading medical experts on COVID-19. Director Ames Dr. Randeep Guleria said, COVID-19 patients are facing a lot of challenges and stigma, which is not justified. He said, there is a need to reach out to those patients who are afraid to come out because of stigma posing danger to their lives. The majority of patients are actually becoming all right and coming out. And these are actually our symbols of victory. And yet we have stigmatized them to a large extent, which is creating a huge problem. Because of the stigma that is happening, many patients who have COVID-19 or have flu-like symptoms are not coming forward, not coming to healthcare facilities. And because of that, they are coming very late when they are really very breathless. And this is leading to higher mortality. Many of these patients can be saved by just one treatment and that is by giving them oxygen. So therefore it's important that we reach out to these patients who are right now scared to come out because of the panic and the stigma that we have attached. And now an overview of today's newspapers covering COVID-19 stories. Hindustan Times leads with the headline, Virus spread slowed by a month of lockdown. The Tribune headline states, Curve flattens in a month of lockdown. Business Standard writes that India has seen a linear and not an exponential growth of COVID cases during the lockdown. Spike huge, but not exponential, headlines the pioneer. Fresh cases of COVID-19 in a day hit new high of 1,755 in India, with Maharashtra recording 778 reports at Times of India. The Times of India quotes the Ames head as saying that stigma attached to COVID can cause more death. India to take a 23% hit on remittances, according to World Bank reports in the Sun Times. Another story in the paper points to more people lining up for NRE, GS jobs and PDS ration. Press for funds due to COVID-19, centre freezes DA for 18 months, eyes saving 38 crore rupees, writes the Times of India. Financial Express leads with the headline, Tackling Coronavirus, Firms Get Relief from IBC for 6 Months. And now before we end the special news program of COVID-19, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address Gram Panchayats today to mark National Panchayati Raj Day. Government says focus is on test, cure and to ensure low mortality due to COVID-19. No new case of COVID-19 reported in the last 14 days in 78 districts. Recovery rate of patients improves to 19.89%. 
Minister for MSME Nitin Gadkari asks industries to arrange shelter and food for laborers at work site and focus on preventive measures and business activities simultaneously. India reaffirms its commitment towards greater sharing of knowledge, expertise and best practices in joint fight against coronavirus. In Uttar Pradesh, community radios are playing an important role in fight against COVID-19 and Tripura becomes third corona-free state in the country. For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.com. And with that, we end the special news program on COVID-19.